Hello everybody, welcome to um, what, what is this game? World Cup Qualifier NAF, World Cup Qualifier Round 3, got myself versus Shamba, it's an absolute mirror match um, we both have the exact same build, three rerolls rather than two and a s extra skink or a chameleon skink, you know, helps the one turn a little bit or whatever, or a quick score um, you know, we've both got an apple, of course, both got six block of course and croc score and everything. So um this is uh, okay, right. He's uh he's receiving. Okay, I mean that's normal, isn't it? Right, I was gonna set up in cups at the first game, and then I thought why should I set up in in cups when I could set up in the Gaday formation? Um I feel like this is better. Yep, let's go with this. You went everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. what can I say? So it's going to be a lot of dice in this game, isn't there? Um, I'm not. I'm not particularly confident. Uh, Shanba was saying how badly he played against Tree, um, but you know he still he still got a draw, didn't he? He still got a draw with uh, three players cast. So anything can happen. Oh, exciting uh, kickoff! You'll probably have to reroll the pickup here. Thanks, C Rose. Hello, Rena. Hello, Kalon. Thanks. Hello, Vella. Thank you. Hello, Steve. The phrase is hold on to your butts, Rena. Just content with beating him off. That's good, that saved us a block, hasn't it? And another one. Oh, yes, beautiful. Not block maxing from Shanda. Love to see it. It's funny, isn't it? Because block maxing is, is what probably should have cost Tree the match last game, but didn't. Um. And yet, not block maxing. Like, it's really good, isn't it, that, that this kick has forced him to not block max, essentially. Really nice. Wow, he does the Crocs Blitz. Just beats him off. Because like, there was no way to blitz like with a with a Saurus unless he gave up a skink, wasn't there? So Whew. feel like he really should have like moved this skink up to here or something. Could just hit an exposed skink. Yeah, he could have done that first. Like probably should have done maybe one square further forward. Anyway. Have to talk about beating off, don't you? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. I 
Fuck. Fuck, 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 I don't have the uh, auto clicker on. So it's whether I just want to blitz this guy. I kind of do. How does a go scratch his belly? Fantastic. Wait. Hello, Machina. It's going to be a thrilling game, yeah. This is going to be an absolute thriller for sure, yeah. Nothing quite as thrilling as Lizard Man mirrors. I, I blitzed the skin and it didn't die. Would it lie to me? for coaching. <laughs> Ironically, I don't think there's any rules about that anywhere, you know, in terms of the whole World Cup, right? Feel free, everybody, to uh, <laughs> to uh, collude to your heart's content in an effort to qualify for the Cup. <laughs> there's literally zero rules about it or against it or anything. It's only just a croc splits, right? But I'm not going to. At least it's fast. Oh, Martin. Thanks. Yeah, go for the kills. That's, a, that's the best advice. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen a tournament where the rules change mid turn? Yep, quite a few actually, see, bros. Quite a few. Yeah, he just goes for the cross blitz. It's actually pretty fair, isn't it? It gives you the high roll chance. Blitz with mighty blow gives you a 2D.
Hmm, interesting. Crocs in. Cheese melted. Delicious. It's just pretty brainless, isn't it? It's funny that he's taking quite a while, actually, isn't he, Shanbo? Whereas I'm going 100 miles an hour, because it's like, it's a bloody lizard mirror. Nothing's happening, is it? Nothing's happening. It's just blitz a guy, see what happens. Blitz a guy, see what happens. Blah, blah, blah. Hello, Walcaho. We do have the run around blitz for a follow-up hit, but uh, I don't think it's that good. And obviously my guys are fast enough to react anyway. It's a good question. It's a good question, Walcaho. It's uh, it's certainly round three. We don't actually know how many rounds it is. <laughs> we don't actually know how many rounds it is. Um, but it's certainly some amount of rounds. Yep. <laughs> If I had a nickel for every time NAF tournaments on Blood Bowl 3 have, have changed rules mid-tournament, <laughs> I'd have two nickels. But it's funny that it's happened twice. <laughs> no, it's, um, <laughs> there, is, there hasn't been a rules change yet. There hasn't been a rules change yet. They're, they're thinking about it. They just don't really know. Um, they're going to try and make it six rounds, I think. But obviously, it takes work, doesn't it? Which, you know, it's not desirable for anybody, is it? Hey, I failed. Right, so this is interesting, isn't it? Because obviously what I want to do is one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, get a Crocs on the ball. Like that's, that's fucking, that is the dream right there. Um, instead, I'm just going to waste my reroll on a double skull first. And the alternate to that is to just kind of like base everybody and hope for the best, isn't it? Which, I'm not sure if that's what I want to do. I'm going to try and move him in there, which is just a good place to stand. I'm going to be sensible. Well done for being sensible, Jim. This looks like an overcommit if I do that, doesn't it? Mm. 
But on the other hand, he just blitzes down or he blocks and he blitzes through. So I think I want to uh, stop him getting that sideline. This could be an overcommit here. We'll see. Rolling double skulls wasn't very sensible, but I did roll a one, didn't I? I did roll a one on the croc, so, you know, if I'd gone all in on the croc splits, I would have felt stupid. Record is just 2 and 0, see, rolls? 2 and 0. So we are the. We are the second. Second placed. Like second placed matchup, if you like. Third and fourth. Um. Thulian and Niago were first and second. Oh, he does get to blitz him onto the crux, which is quite good, isn't it? Nope, he's rolled a one. Easy 5 and 0 domination for an extra ticket. It's certainly possible, isn't it? But of course, you only get one ticket. Uh, and. Um, I might not be taking it anyway. <laughs> I might not even be taking the one ticket that I've got already anyway, so. His crocs going stupid there would have been uh, back-breaking, I think, but never lucky. All of the dice here. Look a dog. <laughs> Very good. Uh, it does not fuck. You dirty Dino. Okay. Well, that's a uh, somewhat annoying spot to stand in, isn't it? Injured. Apple instant. Injured! <laughs> okay, good. And then the question is, do I like dodge out him to 2D both of these or do I just 2D? I think I just 2D. Right? And then I can't risk the 1Ds, I think. It's certainly not GG, uh, Walcaho. Last game, Shamba got uh, got three Saurus cast and still drew, so that's definitely not GG. He uses a reroll to get the knockdown, and it's a Kaz, instant Kaz. Greeted it for the pal. And got it. Outrageous. Outrageous. 
Don't say it's over. He won, yeah, he won. Shit, he won. Sorry, <laughs> he won. I don't know why. I said he drew, yeah, he won despite getting three, uh, three Saurus cast. So yeah, it's definitely not over just because of uh, the cheeky cars. Yes. Disgusterous. Um. Don't know if I can answer that politely. <laughs> <laughs> Super high. Only the best of the best. Yep. Now I want to move him first. So that I don't push him into there. But on the other maybe I want to push him into there. Yeah, maybe I want to push him into here. I'll pal him anyway. I could base the ball with the crocs, couldn't I? Um, that's one. All, that's one possibility. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could also like fully grid up. Could I? Not really, actually. Hmm, maybe a little bit. Maybe the gridding up is is kind of more effective, right? Crocs on both of these. Skink in there. Blitz him. Base him. Two more skinks. So that's a GFI from whoever does it. how good this is. Oh, didn't roll a one. Outrageous. Doesn't seem great, does it? Maybe that was incorrect. Maybe it should have been the uh, Sora's holding the extreme edge. And then... Uh, the skink there, because in case he switches, so I've got more movement to track back. I guess he can't outdistance us anyway. So then the strength falls. Actually, maybe this is better. <laughs> I'm sorry, Seabros. Yeah, it looked quite good, didn't it? The, uh, the, the Was that a blitzer, the, the one with like the big face mask and stuff? The heavily armoured boy. Decent, 
Yeah, I mean, I can't really stop that. I don't think there was a way to make it better than that, to be honest. Ah, oh, shit. I really should have had the Saurus holding the edge. He's given us a two turn back, though, isn't he, with two rerolls here if he scores? Which he kind of has to now. <laughs> oh, he's double scored! Quads? Ah, oh, diced! Diced! Well, that was rather good though, wasn't it? It was rather good. And getting the double skulls there. And he has to score this, like he just has to, right? There's no way he can he can stall here. And this is either dodges or GFIs or something. Maybe like double dodges. Triple dodges through, is it double could he do it? Double dodges? I don't know. I don't know what you mean about no way, see bros. There's this hero Saurus up here. <laughs> about the <to> score. <laughs> ah, just triple dodges, easy. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well that was worth playing a half a Blood Bowl for, wasn't it? But <laughs> got two turns. With two rerolls, so there's a chance. Tell me there's a chance. Could he have done it with a single rush? I'm not sure that he could have. I'm not sure that he couldn't have either. I'm just not sure that he could have. <laughs> yep. I mean, if people are all pals, it's uh, it's not easy, is it? Just trying to think about you know the blitz a little bit as much as I can anyway. Like it's hard, right? Because uh... if we do it this way, pretty protected versus the blitz. He can three D him. He can two D him. He can assist. Or he can assist actually. He can blitz through. Get some players down. Yeah, both apples come. I get to give the ball to somebody? Get on, Rupert. Blitzing down the sideline would be good, wouldn't it? Uh, I mean, I guess I can just go round, round about to get to the sideline anyway.
That's a little bit annoying. When I say a little bit a lot annoying, <laughs> I mean a lot annoying. Six, seven, eight, GFI, and then put the ball there. I want the ball here. And I guess he has to just go there. Oh, there's a skink there. Fuck me. Oh, well. Go on, brave boy! see the fucking skink there. I didn't see that skink and I thought this was a 2D if I cancelled that. So if I'd been more on the ball I could have gone in there and based him. And that extra 3 plus might have been thing and then I might not have gone for that play at all. I might have just gone around and base him there. I should have made this block to put the tail on the skink as well eh? all sorts of problems with that turn. Terrible. Terrible turn. Eight into my time bank, and for what? Yeah, that was really bad not making this ball. Like, I went for the stupid skink thing, instead of just doing that 2D, which would have been good, wouldn't it? He gets the power as well, Jesus Christ. And the rush, okay, fails the pickle. Jesus. Um, <laughs> what do I have? I've got a free Saurus, but it doesn't facilitate much. And maybe a free Saurus at that. So I think the best play is to dodge, pick up in a tackle zone, dodge twice more, hand off. All the dice for Jim. Skinks are fair and balanced. <laughs> uh, 
Good. Good. <laughs> I mean that too, you know, he rolled three two plus he rolled three three pluses, so it's only fair that I rolled uh, three three pluses as well, right? And a four plus. And another three plus. <laughs> I mean he'd also just powered me. I don't know. That was pretty lucky though, yep. Yeah. Yep, pretty lucky. Uh, no coming on either time, team, no Volk. We both went three re-rolls. We both went three re-rolls. Just in honour of Kalorn, right? That was the idea. We both thought, who's our, who's our favourite uh, NAFS table topster? We thought Kalorn the turd. Let's go with uh, three re-rolls. Thanks, Kalon. This is a bit worse against the Blitz, isn't it? But it, to win a fight against fucking lizard men is pretty difficult, so. I think this is a necessary evil. Brilliant coaching. Neither of us. <laughs> Neither of us. Absolutely shit coaching is what the game says. Fair, fair. It doesn't like uh, lizard man mirrors either. I'm going to go narrow. This is a bit weird, isn't it? I'm not sure about this. I'll be honest with you. That's because I'm not going to reroll the pickup, basically. Fuck, maybe I am. <laughs> maybe I am. Fuck it. Oh god. Oh god. Here we go. Everything's based. Fail the pickup again, lose. <laughs> Is how I envision this game going now. Wonderful.
This is rough, isn't it? This is rough. I just fail the pickup, I just lose. So there is that. Okay, so this one can't actually score. This, both of these can. So I have to blitz one of them. If I'm in the end zone, he can't... No, if I go over here, he can't hit me. So there's only one that can possibly hit me. If I make the pickup. So a player here. A player here. A blitz and a base. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, blitz and a base could do. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I could GFI in for a hit there. I can also free up the Crocs on a 1D. And then the Crocs could come in and base both of them. So I think. Go there. Then that makes it that much harder for him to get this guy through. Is that right? Not is it? Fuck no, I should have gone one forward. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, good. Nice. Really nice. And do I use that to block or just come back? Come back, I think. He 2Ds me there, and then 2Ds me there, so I've just got to... But then if I 1D, then they're free to come and get me, so I guess I've got to just... End the fucking turn, man. <laughs> First roll's still away. <laughs> yep. So, Crocs on both of those is good, isn't it? A player up is good. Two rerolls isn't terrible. But obviously about to get all of my Saurus knocked over <laughs> is pretty bad. Pretty bad about to get all of my Saurus knocked over. On a scale of one to pretty bad, getting literally hey, not knocked over. 
The Duvalier Skulls, thank god I didn't do a 1D. Not even knocked over. Wonderful. Wunderbar! Oh, not even dead. He's got to beat him off as well, because otherwise I can hit a skink. can still hit a skink, just blitz it. Oh, yes! <laughs> what is this? He's just free my... He hasn't knocked anybody over and he's freed up two Saurus. <laughs> what a turn. Oh, the dice! I mean, that was that was a shame that one went down, but still. That was great, wasn't it? Flip me, guys. Flip me, guys. Wonderful. Wonderful turn. Gotta beat him off. Oh! Yes! Cheeky stun. I didn't have all of my Sauras knocked over is pretty incredible. Of course, now his whole team is free to react, which isn't great. But still, having the ball in hand with two re-rolls, somewhat under control. After three turns, is pretty good, isn't it? From how scary that was with the, you know, the end zone kick in the <laughs> re-roll pickup fail was uh, pretty horrendous. Clever, clever chain. Doesn't actually uh, achieve anything. <laughs> I guess it potentially gets an extra block. Because like, you could have just had the block here. Right? But it potentially gives an extra block. Oh, the Dublé Skulls. Does re-roll does get the extra block, so it does pay off the, uh, the chain play. Now he gets to humiliate him with a skink. <laughs> oh no. Imagine being a Saurus getting knocked over by a skink. His block dice have been pretty appalling. Oh no, he just beats him off. His block dice have been pretty appalling, haven't they? To be fair. To be fair, I wouldn't say it's a dicing, but it's, uh, it's certainly been favourable dice. Scoring threat indeed. Hello, Pedro. Definitely going to go for that. Ooh, or this one. Ooh, this one.
Do I put my Crocs in on his Saurus? I could, right? Because I could put a Saurus under Crocs on him. Oh my god, I shit my goddamn pants. <laughs> Nice, never lucky. Go for the cock and balls cage. A classic. A blood bowling classic. It could be Pedro. I wouldn't. I wouldn't count my chickens yet. Um, you know, it's 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 Lizardman, right? So anything can happen. Um, he's only got one reroll, which is good. Got the ball secured. Four turns to dick around before getting into range. Um. It's obviously looking pretty good right now, but it was very it was very dodgy before. Now it's looking pretty pretty safe, but you know things can happen, can't they? He can roll well or play well, and I can roll badly or play badly. Certainly seems favourable now. At this moment in time. Good thing is, if this is a push from his Saurus, then it's uh, ah, no, I would have, would have given me a two D straight, in, well, a three D straight into his skin, couldn't it? Oh, he's freed his Crocs. Time for a one. Diced. This is annoying. This is the knock out, knock all the Sora's turnover they didn't have before. It's going for a foul. Oh, G5 fail. Injured. <laughs> oh, that was okay, wasn't it? That was okay. Um. I feel like a little bit of a uh, 2001 Will Smith. I don't know. I don't know when it came out. <laughs> maybe, maybe before that. Maybe It don't I?
I have to. <sighs> Diced. Bit of a misplay. Yeah, it wasn't great, was it? That wasn't a great turn. I like the switch because he's, just, he's, he's sort of a powering up here, isn't he? Um, I'm sure I could have done it better than what I did. But um, I wanted him forward, further forward if I got the power, but obviously the push. I guess he should have been back and I should have followed. But it's, I've also got to get forward, right? I've only got a few turns left to score. So... I don't hate that turn. Like, playing it at the time, I don't hate it. I'm sure it's one of those turns where, at the time you're playing it, you think, ooh, this is a tough turn. And then you do something that you're reasonably happy with, and then you'd watch it back. And Artemis would be like, what a complete loon! <laughs> it's the worst turn of Blood Bowl I've ever seen in my life! <laughs> but, um... It didn't feel that bad while I was doing it. <laughs> Okay, well that was pretty good, wasn't it? again. This Crocs hits incredible, right? Because it, it marks it, it marks the skink as well. Yes. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not good. Last re-roll, gets the pow, outrageous. And the AV break and removal. And GFI. Stupid Crocs. Good. I don't have a free Saurus though, do I? But I can just blitz, I can just blitz with the Saurus. I can just blitz with the Saurus. Problem now is he can uh, he can definitely at least one day he can't he? but it's not like I can uh, score early. Oh. Oh, 
that sucks. <laughs> um, I really needed that one, didn't I? Because then if I, if even if I just push him, it's all right. Because I'd get him out of the way so I can one d him for a push, and then one d. But I mean, if I power him, it's incredible. Because then I power him and power him. I really can't afford to skull with these guys. So this guy can dodge to get to there, I guess. Chance of me needing two rerolls on the last turn is low. <laughs> but I might, eh? And this only adds like a dodge. It's an easy 1D for him, isn't it? <laughs> We're doing a 1. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Uh so yeah, the thing like one Ding here is a disaster, right? Uh, failing these blockers is a disaster, and th he, this guy isn't affecting the game at all down here. Whether he, whatever he does, right? Same with the, these guys aren't doing anything at all. So um, trying to dodge around would have added a dodge in for him, which isn't barely does anything, but at least it does something. Dub skulls, hey! <laughs> <laughs> he keeps up his incredibly his incredibly shit dice rolls. Surf him. His blog dice have been terrible to be fair. Maybe it's ventured into uh Maybe it's ventured into uh dicing territory. Oh no, he went in first, what an idiot skink! <laughs> Go around him! I mean, it's maybe ventured into dicing territory. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I think I wouldn't have been very happy on the other end of it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, possible dicing. I'd say, I'd say definite, definite possible dicing. I'd probably think it was a dicing if it had happened to me. Um, but, like, it might not be, right? It might not be. It depends how you define dicing, doesn't it? How likely is he to one turn? He's got one skink. Let's play for a riot. Is this playing for a riot? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty unlucky. I would I would have like I would have felt pretty bad if they'd been my dice. Um, like the block dice especially, right? Because even if you like think of the other players and stuff, um, like if you take players out of it, um, just the number of dub skulls you rolled from two dice blocks with block was pretty horrible, wasn't it? So. Yeah. 
it's hard to be objective when you're playing. But, um, and it depends what your dicing is, right? It depends what your threshold for calling something a dicing is, right? Like, um, like people, some people would say, you know, like, like what, like you just, you just put it in like the worst percentage of dice, right? If this is like the bottom 30% of dice, definitely. <laughs> but then do, would you see, some people would call that dicing, right? Is it in the top, but is it in the bottom 10% of dice? Maybe. So if you call it bottom 10% of dice a dicing, you know, then it's a dicing. If you call 1% of games a dicing, the worst 1% of dice, then maybe this isn't a dicing. Maybe it's, you know, bottom 4%. I've got no idea. I've literally got no idea, obviously. None of us have. All you've got is like feelings and stuff, haven't you? I'm sure it would feel like a dicing if I was on the other end of it, having three skinks cards. Four were cards, right? Total. Because he appled one. So in a game where you take four skink cards, it's hard to <laughs> and roll millions of dub skulls. I definitely, I definitely think it was a dicing on my end. You reckon 10% range? I, I reckon it could be like 5, something like that. It was, it was a lot of dub skulls. And plus, like, it, it depends, right? Like, it depends, doesn't it? It's just, it's really hard to say. Like, it's really hard to say. You've got, you've got really no idea except feelings. Um, right, so he has set up for a one turn touchback, I guess. Get the ref. There's no touchback, there's no riot. This is, if he scores this one turn, hats off to him. <laughs> hats off to him. Yeah, at least 10. I would say at least 10. He, he rolled He rolled a lot of dub skulls, didn't he? He rolled a lot of dub skulls. Got his, got a bunch of skinks cast. Um, it was, I mean, it was definitely very bad dice. I don't think it was as bad as Danton's dice versus me. That was, that was a ridiculous game. Um, with this one, there's maybe things he could have done. Whereas I don't think there was anything Danton could have done with the dice that Danton got. Um, but it was still, yeah, it was still obviously very... I mean, it was very, very, very favourable dice, yeah. I'm not gonna... I, I think it's fine to say that. Some people are just like, you know, don't want to uh, mention the dice. But there you go. Right, that was it anyway. I think the, the table's still just on round two. Um... But that was a win. Glorious. And Tulian and Iaga drew. So, so, there's Lizards versus Wood Elves. So I might play the winner of that. Or the winner of Devo versus Patrick Balcony. You know, because these could draw, right, or something. I mean, you obviously, you'd favour the Wood Elves, which would then probably be playing the Wood Elves, but then, you know, never you never know, maybe, uh, maybe it'll be one of those. It was, it was a bad game. It was a comedy mega dicing. I don't think it was a comedy mega dicing, but yeah, I, w I would be okay calling it a dicing. Uh, certainly if it happened to me, I'd probably be calling it a dicing, so there you go. Um, GG, Shamba. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.